What's good y'all? Welcome back to my channel. And I know I haven't been posting in a while, but y'all, I promise I'm back this time. So today I did a tutorial on how you can get this look. Okay, why is it sticking to my brain? How you can get this look without all the hassle that it comes with as you know when you get box braids it's so hard to put them up it's so hard to do anything with them because they're just so thick but i finally found a way to do it without breaking your arms trying to put it up so last time y'all saw me i was on crutches or whatever i had just torn my acl but y'all i'm back now i'm walking no crutches none of that so you know we're back in the youtube flow if you guys are wondering, these braids are called goddess braids. Um, as you can see, they're not like normal box braids where it's just like, you know, it has cr um, crochet hair at the ends and like all throughout on some. But, you know, my hair is really old. Like this hairstyle is really old. So that's why in the video sometimes you're like, sis, what's going on with your hair? But it's okay because I'm about to take them out this weekend. But I wanted to get this video in before I took them out. And y'all don't mind my hormone my hormonal bump right here. Like she's persistent, she's not trying to go away, but life goes on. Y'all, throughout this video, you're gonna hear this chair squeaking so much. Like it's a wooden chair, as you can see, like it's making a lot of noise. And my bracelets are making a lot of noise too. So just a disclaimer, I'm so sorry about that. But I'm done rapping. We're gonna just get right into the video. So you only need one product for this tutorial, which is hair ties. Like, okay, these are really dirty. I'm sorry. You only need hair ties for this tutorial. You don't need anything else besides your braids and hair ties. Okay, so right now my hair is about three weeks, almost a month old. I mean, you can basically say a month old. The older it gets, the easier it will be because, you know, it's looser and easier to move around. So now we're about to just start. So first thing that I do is... I leave out two in the front, but I know some people don't like to do that, so you don't have to do that. But it's just what I like to do. I'm gonna take half, a little bit less than half actually, half of my braids and put it up. So now we just have the half up and half down hairstyle. So yeah, this is how it should look. You see it's like smooth on the sides. You guys, I need to do my edges, so don't don't mind that. Okay? Okay. Next step is a little harder, so I'm gonna have to back up. Okay, so for this step, you're gonna have to take all your hair up like this and then put it into like one ponytail. But I'm gonna show you what I mean. So you see how like loose the ponytail is? Like you can't, like you can see like it's two separate ponytails. But this is a trick that I learned to make it tighter without, because the ponytail holder won't go around tight because like the braids are too big and thick. So what you do is you're gonna take the first two braids in the front like this and wrap it around the ponytail to make it tighter. You see the difference how it's just higher and it's more together i mean i still probably wouldn't wear it out like this but like it's just all together so now this is the easiest part you're just going to take your hair and wrap it around so i like to put it all to one side you're going to tie it really tight at the top and looser towards the bottom because some of the curls can hang out And the ends of your braids like help secure it so you don't need like another hair tie. You could take another hair tie and like 
put it right there but you don't need to take some random pieces and just let it hang out like that you know so it's a little messy and this is how the bun looks okay so this is how the bun looks now it's just a messy bun it's not really like a formed bun if you would like to say that um because i'm looking at the camera like i don't really know where to put the curly pieces but like i think you guys get it like just put it where it will look nice and like random pieces so now i'm about to do my edges off the camera and then i'll come back and show you the final result okay so guys this is the final result right here it's not like a perfect one like how it would be on a day-to-day -day basis because I'm looking in the camera trying to do it. But those are the steps that I do. When you do it by yourself, you'll find a way that works better for you and just works best for your type of braids, length, all of that. So yeah, just know that stuff, different stuff works for different people. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And leave any video suggestions down below because I'm trying to get back on YouTube and have constant content but it's really hard to find videos that you guys would like to see so make sure you just comment down below and turn on push notifications and all my social medias will be in the description bye